Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen, amen, amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Yes, it is me, Sister Magdalene Emily Tanoi. God is good all the time. All the time, God is God. Um, before I continue, I want to thank our Father, Almighty God in heaven, to give us this good opportunity to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. To minister the work of God. Amen. Amen. And uh, to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us thank Jehovah Father in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ Almighty. Father, you made the heaven and earth. We thank you. Everything is the work of your hands. Father, Lord, we come to you today. We humble ourselves. Forgive us our sins. We are repenting in the name of Jesus I, Father Lord, with brothers and sisters who are watching and hearing the word of God, Father Lord, we come to you, we commit ourselves to your hands, O oh Lord, when we are ministering your word, Jehovah Jireh, let us understand and let us not remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And Daddy, we rebuke all the spirits which are not the spirit of Jesus Christ. We destroy all the spirit which are not the spirit of Jehovah Rapha. We destroy all the spirit which it doesn't belong to us, Father Lord. Thank you, Daddy. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ and say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, today... um. As I say, it is me, Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. Today we are going to read the book of Isaiah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the time I gave my life to Jesus Christ. The Almighty God gave me that fast to go and preach the word of Lord. And that is uh, the book of Isaiah, 60 verse 1. 60 verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. God is good. Amen. So, I will read in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. The, the book of the Lord say, Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 3. I read, Arise and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Other nations will be covered by darkness, but on you the light of the Lord will shine. The brightness of his presence will be with you. Nations will be drawn to your light and kings to the drawing of your new day hallelujah amen praise the name of the living god amen just one second oh, amen hallelujah more light i read again in the name of jesus hallelujah the book of isaiah 60 Verse 1 to 3. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. The book of the Lord say, Arise and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Other nations will be covered by darkness, but on you the light of the Lord will shine. The brightness of the presence will be with you. Nations will be drawn to your light and kings to the drawing of your new day. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. We hear the word of God what is telling us about to shine 
You cannot shine when you don't arise. You have to arise and shine like a sun. To shine like a sun is to preach the word of God. To, to shine, <laughs> to sh <laughs> it's a little bit difficult, okay. To shine, to shine, it is to leave everything which you are doing before and to become new and to shine like a sun. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of God say, arise and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Because when you arise and shine, that means maybe before you are a sinner and you have gave your life to Jesus Christ. And then you are shining. You are no more for the world. Because in the world, in the world, you are doing many things and uh, you are in darkness. When somebody is in darkness, he cannot shine. Hallelujah. Amen. When somebody is in darkness, he cannot shine. So you have to arise and shine like a sun and like the glory of God also shining in you. Because in that moment when you shine, when you shine, the glory of God will shine in you. Okay? Example. Let's make like this. Uh -huh. Before you were in darkness, you were doing things of the world. Nobody saw you those times. It was only the devil, Satan and the people of the world. They couldn't see you. They couldn't hear any voice from you. They couldn't know you. But because now you have arise and shine like a sun. Yeah? The glory of God, Lord, is shining on you. And other nations will be covered with darkness. Who are those nations will be covered with darkness? Those nations will be covered with darkness. It's those people who they don't want to give their life to Jesus Christ. Because you, you have given your life to Jesus Christ. Your life has changed. You are no more like before. You have shine. Because if you go somewhere and preach the word of the Lord, people, they will sit and hear the word of the Lord which you are preaching. Because that day, it is not you you are preaching. You are shining. The glory of God is shining in you. The Holy Spirit of the Lord is in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you will shine. Even the glory of God will shine in you. So when you go and pray somewhere, pray for people, you will shine because it will be some miracles. You will pray and the miracles of God, Jehovah, will done. And that place, it will shine. Even the old nations, even the old nations, they will wonder. Even the kings, the presidents, they will wonder, who is that person? Because you are not like them. So, wake up, arise, and go and preach the word of Lord. Wake up, arise, give your life to Jesus Christ. Wake up, arise, and shine. And the shine of the glory of God will shine on you. And even the nations, they will wonder because they will not understand. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, I was talking about um, to shine is not to put on new clothes so that you shine or to take shower and then you shine. No. To shine is to give your life to Jesus Christ. To shine is to go and preach the gospel. Because you are shining, the glory of God is in you. Wake up, my sister. Wake up, my brother. Arise. Arise, Jerusalem. Arise, the children of God. Arise and go and preach the word of God. Don't, don't sit and just hear some other people preaching and you are not doing anything. You have also right to arise. Arise, children of God, because you have right to preach the word of God. You have right, right to pray for people who are sick, to be healed in the name of Jesus. You have right to preach the gospel all over the world because there is nobody who was born with anything. All of us were born naked. Everybody, everybody was born naked. But when somebody is born, he will, they will put him clothes and he will shine. And when you've grown up, you know, there is something you have to do in your life. You have to continue shining. So we have to preach the word of God because that time I gave my life to Jesus Christ, 209, I, 
I had this message of God telling me, Arise, my daughter, and shine. Go and preach my word. And I started to preach the word of God. I went to African shop. And that time, my daughter also was here in Germany. So, we went together and preached the word of God. And we met many people, they were challenging us. But the time we start to pray, we shine. Because the power of God was in us. The shine of God, the glory of God was shining in us. Because the time we pray, the angels came down. That Afro shop was shaking. It was shaking. Because everybody we left there, everybody, everybody was failing. He has changed. It was, not, it was not like the same before we met them. But the time when they saw us, we were preaching the word of God. They were asking us some questions. Others, they were saying that a woman cannot preach for me. A woman cannot pray for me. A woman cannot lay hands on me. So the lady who was our friend, she tell that person, whom do you want to lay hands on you? If a lady cannot lay the hands for you, where is that pastor? The man pastor, where is he right now to lay hands on you? So we, we shine in that day and we continue preaching the word of God. And up to today, we are preaching the word of God. And the Lord have helped us since that 209. We didn't go back to the wall in the darkness. We are still shining and we are still continuing. Shining and preaching the word of God. So I was telling you, my sister and my brother, arise and shine. Let the word of God to shine. Let the preaching of Jehovah to shine. Let the word of Jesus to shine. Preach the word of God everywhere in the world. You can preach how you want. You can preach how you want. So long as the wish of God. You can preach how you want to, to do. You can preach in the streets. You can preach even if you're traveling in the bus. You can preach even when you're traveling to your country. Maybe you're traveling to Kenya or uh, Nigeria, Uganda, Tanzania. You can preach in the airplane. Share the word of God to the people. Let the word of God to shine. You know you're not the one shining. Oh. It's Jesus shining inside you. You hear the glory of God is shining in you. So my sister, my brother... Preach, even through the phone. Preach for people and pray for people. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Preach through YouTube. Preach to, through internet. Preach everywhere. Preach for children. Preach for grown-up people. Preach for those ones who they don't know about God. If they will hear you, we thank God. And if they don't hear you, so long as you have preached, you know you cannot force anybody but preach the word of God because you are called and you are chosen. The Lord said, many are called and few are chosen. But my sister, my brother, if you know you are called and you are chosen with Lord, the glory of God is shining on you. So don't keep the message of God with you inside the house. Preach. Preach the word of God. Nowadays, there are many ways to preach the word of God. You can preach through WhatsApp. You can preach through Skype. You can preach through Facebook. You can preach. You can write even message for people. And it can change. You can worship. You can even pray for somebody who will give his life to Jesus Christ. You can preach. Somebody will change his life. Will give his life to Jesus Christ. You will sing. Somebody will hear the song. Will change his life. Will give his life to Jesus Christ. Like me. That day, 2.09, when I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I heard a song which it was singing that time in the night. The song, it was from a lady from Kenya. Her name is Joan Warimo. This song say, Mungu wangu, we waju wa sababu, kwa nini, nina pitia hayo. Mungu wangu, we waju wa sababu, kwa nini, nina pitia hayo. Nishike, mkono wangu baba, mungu wangu, we waju wa sababu. Mungu wangu, we waju wa sababu, kwa nini, nina pitia hayo. My sister, my brother, that song, it touched me that night and I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, you can do anything to let people to give their life to Jesus Christ. So, when I heard that song, it say, my Lord, you know why. That song say, you know why I am like this. So, my Lord, hold my hand and don't leave me alone. 
the song is so wonderful. So my sister, my brother, preach the word of Lord, arise and shine, and let the glory of God to shine in you. Preach. Let the glory of God to shine in you in the name of Jesus. My brothers, my sister, today I'll stop it from there. God bless you. It's me, Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me too. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much.